What's your slut's confession? Um, I slept with my Uber driver once. Huh? Why did you do that? You could have paid. I don't know. He you had no home. money? He came home with me and paid for my Uber, so. Yo, is that a new tactic? I mean. This is my first Uber trip. I just started. That is not surprising because I did Uber before and it is pretty easy to get laid as an Uber driver. I think my first night doing Uber, I had to like let a chick know like, yo, I'm married. And I don't get down like that. I've heard some stories, man. Y'all don't know who it is, so I'm just get out one of his stories. So he picked these group of girls up from the club. They were from like California or something like that. And one of them was like, "Yo, I've been here a week, and I still ain't got no." D when she said that, she looked at him. She like, "Oh, you kind of cute." So he dropped her friends off. She stayed in the Uber. He went and got a condo, and they found a little spot. And he took it down. They had exchanged information, so I had seen her her pictures and stuff. She was she was built. What's the craziest thing that you've done for money? Um, so at an abandoned place, I gave a BJ to some dude that I didn't know for some views pods and like uh five bottles of vodka. What what is um what is Vs pods? What is what is these pods, and and five bottle of vodka. Vodka ain't even expensive. Shit. That's the cheap brand. That's like the Payless of liquor. And no offense to Payless, cause Payless, you know what I'm saying. I grew up on Payless, but still, son. You risk catching herpes for five bottles of vodka. <laughs> It'll be. Mm. <laughs> 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 mm. No comment. No comment. I'm going to put this one in there for y'all. I wasn't expecting this. I'm going to put this one in there for y'all. All right, fellas? Everyone talks about how much of a red flag it is if a guy tells you that his ex is crazy, but I'm going to contextualize it for you. When I was younger, I would go on dates with these guys, and they would tell me how crazy their exes were, and I was so naive and susceptible, and I just wanted to differentiate myself from these exes, and I'd be like, oh, I would never do that. That's so cringe. That would never be me. I would never act out of character. Oh, my God. Life had a very funny way of humbling me, and I remember getting into a relationship with one specific guy, and fast forward six months into the relationship, one night at 2 a.m. when I'm hiding in the bushes, waiting to see if he's coming home with a girl, and thinking to myself, how did someone who is perfectly sane like me end up acting so crazy and so out of pocket? Because he hit the and bottom. All I think about in that moment is how he's going to go on another date and tell another girl how his ex was crazy. And to be fair, I was acting crazy, but you know what they never tell you? They never tell you what they they did to take he a perfectly the sane human and turn them into someone who's ready to get checked into an insane mm -hmm. asylum. There's like maybe 0.3% of women who are uncouth. The rest of us, we're fucking sane. So the next time you're on a date with a guy and he tells you his ex is crazy, I want you to think about what this man could have done to take a perfectly sane woman and make her insane. You know what? I can't, I can't sit here and say I disagree with her. Because um, narcissism is a real thing. And one of the the talents or the special ability that a narcissistic person have is to make you insane. They'll, they'll do things to you and mentally break you down to the point where you are no longer yourself. She's right. It's people out here that will do things to you and nobody would actually care about what they did to you. They only care about your reaction. And with, with a narcissistic person, bro, the reaction you give sometimes might seem way, way out of pocket. You feel me? It'll seem so unnatural. But nobody sees the unnatural shit that the person did to you to get you to that point. What's something y'all did that nobody knows about? I had a three. 
with my best friend and my fiance's best friend. My fiance wasn't there. So he doesn't know about it. You guys are crazy. Bruh. That's grounds. <laughs> that's that's grounds for um I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it because you shouldn't risk your freedom for nobody. She had a threesome with her best friend and her fiance's best friend. Meaning that nine times out of ten, this young man is gonna be the fiance's best man at the wedding. And then you went and told it to a random stranger. And now it's all over the internet. That's messed up, son. Like, if you really think, if you really sit down and think about it, that's messed up. You gotta be careful about shit like that, bro. That means that his best friend wasn't his friend at all. You have people in your life right now that you think are this close with you, and they really just. They're really there to compare themselves to you in a sense where, like, Things that you might have or might accomplish, they feel as though they can have it or accomplish it too. In this situation, he got a girl, he about to get married and shit, and his best friend, like, just needed to have that over him. Does that make sense? Like, you have people that would go out of their way to have something over you, but claim to be your best friend or claim to be, like, oh, that's my brother, man, that's my sister. Nah. Well, then. Can you please tell me what a dictionary is? These nuts. Hot. Got him. Damn. Damn, every, that. How many seconds was that? That was kind of sad. Bro. Y'all remember when everybody was saying, Got him. These nuts. He ain't had the right people in his corner. Because he was famous. He was famous. He could have did something with that. What I'm saying is that <laughs> men lie to women because they want sex. So mm. men normally don't tell the truth to women. That's a fact. You're hearing it from me because I'm not trying to smash you. That's why I'm so truthful with you ladies. Mm -hmm. And it seems like maybe I'm disrespectful huh? or maybe I'm mean or rude. But I'm not mean or rude. I'm just not trying Thanks. to have sex with you. Facts. But if I wanted to be clapping cheeks, this podcast would be very fugazy. I would be like, oh, what? <laughs> do like a woman's money. We love your income. We mm. love your income. Oh, nobody we love independent that. boss women. Mm -hmm. Derek Jenks' entire message was all based on selling females word salad. It's just yeah. like Justin LaBoy. Mm -hmm. Yo. Facts. Facts. I don't even know who Justin LeBoy is, but big swole ass Derek. Derek was selling y'all some BS. Because guess what? The same thing he was bashing dudes for, turns out he was doing the same thing. He was doing it. I wonder how many times he was in his car shooting them videos. And he was just coming from his side chick house. Or he was headed to his side chick house. Mm. That was real. That's probably the, the second realest thing I've heard on the internet in the past couple of days. That was real. It's a whole lot of things that feel good. It, it feels good. It feels good. It feels yeah. good. What I'm giving you doesn't feel good. The things that is true normally doesn't feel good. Facts. Ooh. If we was trying to smash, it would all be like a Derek James. Preach, or boy. boy. We'll be like, yeah, yeah, true. That's we'll be fact. talking about sex a whole lot. We'll be talking about like, Preach, oh, what's boy. your favorite position? The reason why I didn't ask your favorite position, because I do not, not care, care. Your position. We think about sex 24-7. Remember that. We're going to soup you up and boost you up. Because we want to clap them cheeks. If a dude is not out here trying to smash you, right? There is a 90% chance that when you have a conversation with your friends about him, you talk about how, how much you hate his attitude. I hate him. I can't stand him. Because he's not sugarcoating nothing that he tells you. Respectfully.
Respectfully, he's not sugarcoating nothing that he's telling you. I can appreciate what that what my boy's saying right there.